Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited arrows in the new Skyrim Remastered. Now the great thing about this little glitch or exploit is that you actually don't need to use mods at all, which will allow you guys to have a vanilla save in which you can actually earn achievements and kind of cheat at the same time, so you know it's pretty good. And before we get into this guide, I would like to thank my good friend Danny or ESO and his link is in the description. Without you dude, I would not have been able to bring this guide to my viewers today. So guys, make sure you go and check out his channel. He does some awesome Fallout and Skyrim related videos. But less of that, let's get into this guide right here. So the first thing we want to do is go into our map, guys, and we need to travel to a place called Solitude. You can find it at the very far north end of the map. If you've never been there before, just find a horse and carriage and ask the guy to take you there for a couple of gold, I guess. Um, if you've been there before, just fast travel like me. And here we are, right here in the town of Solitude. And there's a guy getting his head chopped off. F him, he's dead, whatever. Let's go towards these shops right here. Just keep on going all the way forward, and we need to go up this ramp right here. Once up the ramp, you will see another shop. This is actually the armory where they keep all the armor, the weapons, all that kind of stuff. We just want to head inside. Once inside, you will find the shopkeeper somewhere in here, he should be behind the counter or just wandering around the shop. Just go and talk to him and ask him what he has for sale. And hopefully, if you go down to his weapons, he should actually have a couple of Daedric arrows that you can buy from him. But you only actually need to buy one. And also guys, I would like to say if you don't want to buy Daedric and you want something like Ebony, or e ebony, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but yeah, if you want to buy ebony, feel free to buy that, you don't have to do Daedric, that's just my preference uh, for this guide. Uh, but once we go around this corner outside the shop, you will find the guard's training grounds, and there should be an archer shooting at his target. If we just go over, you will notice that we can actually pick up the arrows that he shoots at that target, so you know, guys... This is a pretty easy little guide, but there is more to it, so make sure that you do stay tuned. What we want to do is possibly have a potion of invisibility. I'm just going to take a couple of these, and we're going to crouch, and maybe save beforehand too. It helps to save, as you know, if you do mess up, you don't have a bounty on top of your head and all that kind of shit, you know? Uh, but we're going to go into our uh, inventory, pick the Daedric Arrow, and press X to give it to him. And now it should be in his inventory, and he should be able to shoot that Daedric Arrow at that target and never run out of ammunition. Now, the only thing about this is that these are still steel arrows, and we need to actually wait now until he goes to sleep, and then we need to go and steal all of the arrows from his inventory. So, here we are right now, guys. We're gonna wait a little while. And that should be about fine, yes. And now, just to the left of where he was shooting is the guard barracks. We want to go and head on inside, and we're gonna pickpocket this motherfucker. Once inside, just go to the right-hand side, right there, through this little entryway. Go on down, and the archer should be sleeping on one of the beds to the left. It should be the one I go exactly to. So, not that guy there but this one right here. And before we get to him, I am again, once again, going to take an invisibility potion and save it, just in case, you know, I don't want the guide messing up at this point. And we're gonna pickpocket him, and as you can see, he has the Daedric Arrow. We're just gonna go down and take all of the steel arrows from his inventory. Now, taking these arrows actually means that now he will only be able to use that Daedric Arrow on his target, and yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory from here. So we want to go outside. And once again, guys, we are going to wait a little while for him to pop up and start shooting at his target. So I think around about 12 hours should do it. Let's see. There you go. And hopefully, once we've waited long enough, all of the NPCs should actually start spawning. Just kind of look away. If he's not there, go out to the area and come back in. He should spawn in in no time. And right here, he is shooting a couple of arrows. Hopefully, these are the Daedric arrows. Yep, there you go. Okay, Daedric arrows, guys. And this guy will do this 
all day long. Now, I wouldn't recommend just waiting there forever and going to collect them, no, because after around about 16 or maybe 17 arrows that he shoots at this target, they do start to despawn. So make sure that you go over every 10 arrows, pick them up and just wait a little while longer. And what you're seeing now is the gameplay sped up, but that was only a couple of seconds, like really, that was only about 30 seconds, and already I have a crap load of Daedric Arrow in my inventory. And that is without spending pretty much a heap load of gold, or going to scavenge, or going to make them, you know? Pretty easy stuff, guys, it really is. And, of course, they can be used to actually sell them back to the guy in the armory. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this guide. I do hope that I helped some of you guys out today. If I did, then please remember to leave a like. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.